1940, Britain was desperately short of all types of armoured vehicles following the Dunkirk evacuation when much equipment had to be abandoned. Faced with the prospect of an invasion, there was an urgent need for new armoured vehicles and many improvised types such as the Beaverette were rapidly produced. The Humber armoured car was however the first of a new generation which started to appear in 1940 and replaced the outmoded light tank. It was found that four-wheel drive armoured cars, relying on speed rather than armour for protection, could carry out duties formerly performed by light tanks. The best British vehicle of this type was the Daimler armoured car, developed from the Daimler Dingo light scout car. This entered service in 1941. It had several novel features. There was no chassis, the armoured hull itself performing this function. It also had excellent independent suspension for traversing rough ground, disc brakes and the Tetrac light tank turret with a two-pounder gun. The Daimler armoured car saw service from 1941 and was used extensively in North Africa and Northwest Europe, remaining in commission for some years after the war.